This past week, we just moved our daughter from here to Ohio. And one of the things that we found uh, important was her processing what needs to be left behind. She went through all of her stuff and sets things aside that she wanted to keep here in our house for a future date. Things that she said, you know, I'm never going to need that again. Leaving things behind, I think, is a process that we go through our entire lives. What's important? What do I still need in my life? What can be left behind? What a process, thinking through, what do I need? Will it help me in the future? Will it be important? Well, you know, salvation is defined in scripture as the old is gone, the new has come. This process of realizing that the old way of life doesn't motivate us anymore. The old way of life isn't important to us anymore. You see, David had to leave behind pride, committing adultery. Peter left behind denying Christ. Paul left behind the fact that he had persecuted the church and was responsible for people being put to death. Moses had to put behind this idea that he stuttered and wasn't a good communicator. And Gideon had to put behind him himself the fact that he wasn't a leader. That's not what he saw in himself. Well, if you're back from the East, you maybe have heard of a place called Hershey, Pennsylvania. It's a city named after Hershey who created Hershey candy. It would be amazing for you to study that guy, but what we find is that he went bankrupt multiple times trying to come up with the perfect recipe. Well, he didn't let failure keep him down. He continued to progress and he continued to strive for the goal that he had for himself. Well, in Philippians 3, 13 and 14, Paul says, forgetting what is behind, I press or I strain forward to what lies ahead. I press toward the, on toward the goal, of the, the goal of the prize for which Christ Jesus has called me. What does that tell us this day? There are things that we need to leave behind. What is it in your life that you need to leave behind? It could be successes that you think identify who you are. When they don't, they may play into your life story, but they don't define you in and of themselves. Or things that were harmful, hurtful, or failures. Well, Pastor Tim shared yesterday, and I want to remind you, God is more concerned with who you are becoming rather than who you have been. So shake off that which does not help you live into your identity, that which doesn't help you be his child or do the things that you're created to do. Because remember, we are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. And to do that means making ourselves available being faithful to him, and being teachable. So this week, understand God is wanting to use you. See yourself as something worthy to be used and someone who is worthy of his presence in your life daily. Well, God bless you. This is your moment to transform life. Have a great day. God bless you.